Great wildlife gardens need water to thrive, and that means not losing rainfall too quickly. A bog garden is a great way to keep hold of it. Simon's our plants and gardens experts. Uh, what is a bog garden? It's an area of soil which is largely waterlogged with impeded drainage. So it can drain, but it is wetter than the rest of the garden. So we're using this small triangle here. You only need a small space. Uh, how do you actually build it? Well, in the garden, the best way is to dig a hole, uh, whatever your area, we're talking about 300 millimetres mm -hmm. deep, line it with cheap pond liner because you're then going to puncture it with a garden fork so that you have some drainage but it's slower than the rest of the garden. And the water will seep away slowly. Yeah. Then the soil goes back in on top. What sort of plants can cope with presumably dry weather a lot of the time and then every now and again totally inundated? It's going to be the sort of things that grow around the edges of ponds, what we call marginals. Uh, things like this purple loosestrife that you're uh, holding yep. are ideal because they're really showy in midsummer and um, good for wildlife. I should warn you it's a bit of a thug and it could take over this entire corner in time, so not to be put in a very small area. As weeds go, it's a nice one. <laughs> it's not a bad one, yeah. And, and all native as well. Okay, this one. Hempagrimony, another good one that will tolerate damp mm -hmm. soils, uh, occasional inundation, but um, periods of drought too. Yep, the pink coming through there, and for a bit of texture and different shape. Well, the sedges really take a lot of beating uh, in or out of the water. You can't go far wrong. This one's pendulous sedge. This, I always think, shouts wetland at you because it's got <laughs> that vertical sort of uh, form that we associate with rushes and sedges. Getting the water into the bog garden, obviously it's going to rain, it's a bit sheltered here, so not too much. Uh, we're going for, for a pond option to start with? Well, so we're on the edge of a pond. When that overflows, we've got the lowest edge here so that it floods into this area. So when there is rain, this will be irrigating mm -hmm. this. Or you could use rainwater downpipe. That could easily be diverted into this area so it regularly floods. As long as the water can ultimately get away and it's yeah. not going to go under the foundations, you get house that's fine. Yeah. So if you want to build a pond, check out our how to build a wildlife pond in your garden. If you want to build a bog garden, it's this small, this easy with a drain pipe and it'll make your garden look great. It'll attract lots of lovely garden animals and also by not pouring the water straight away down the drain, you'll be helping wildlife and wetlands more widely as well.